All right, welcome back fam. So as you probably saw in the title of this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the six different composition tricks that I use on majority of my shoots to help make my photos stand out from the crowd. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. So let's just jump straight into composition trick number one, and that is using patterns. So humans are drawn to patterns because they help to create structure in what we see. And all we have to do as photographers is to look for any kind of elements that are repeating. So whether that be a line or some kind of shape. So if we look at this example here that I shot in Singapore, just by shooting this building on an angle, I was able to create a visually appealing image by using the design of this building. I was also able to create depth within this photo because of the angle I shot this. Another example is this photo I took while an assignment in New York. So again, just by shooting this at a slight angle, I was able to create a pattern with these blue pillars behind the train. And again, this angle mixed with these patterns helped to create even more depth in this photo. And lastly, here's two more examples using a crowd of people and a sea of umbrellas. So as you can see, we can get really creative with this one and we just need to constantly be observing our location and look for these repeating patterns. Okay, moving on to composition trick number two and this is symmetry. So symmetry is one of those things that just looks good and it's fairly easy to capture once you come across it. So symmetry can be created with the use of lines, shapes, or even reflections. So when shooting symmetry, I recommend using either the center or flexible spot focus modes because this will assist you in lining up your shots perfectly. Just remember when shooting symmetry, we want to ensure that all sides of our image are balanced and imagine if we were to cut the photo directly across the middle, that both sides of the photo will look the same. So some great places to find symmetry are inside of buildings, central business districts, water puddles, reflections of windows and mirrors. Okay, moving on to composition trick number three and that is negative space. So negative space is when you tell a story by using the space around and between your subjects in your picture. The more negative space you have, the more your viewer is forced to think about the environment in your photo. Also with negative space, we can deliver different feelings and emotions through our images. So things like loneliness, mystery, contrast, and scale. Okay, moving on to composition trick number four, and that is juxtaposition. So juxtaposition is when you place different elements in your picture to create a comparison or contrast in your photos. So for example, in this photo here, so this shot here creates a connection between the Tokyo sky tree here and this person in the kayak here. Here we can see the massive difference in scale for both of these subjects. Another example would be this photo here. So here we can see a relationship is formed from this guy's silhouette here and the bright light behind him. Juxtaposition is a very powerful composition trick because it really helps you to communicate stories within your photography. Okay, moving on to composition trick number five, and that is to shoot in both vertical and horizontal. So this is something I totally ignored when I first started photography and it is something I do regret. I know firsthand that while you're out shooting, it's so easy to lose track and forget to shoot in both angles. But if you're interested in sharing your work online, then this is a must to get both. Also, once you start working with brands, you'll start to realize that they will usually want both variations of a photo because vertical images work better for phone viewing. So for things like Instagram and Facebook, but horizontal images work better for computers and websites. Also, some compositions will look better in either vertical or horizontal. So for example, when shooting architecture or landscapes. So this shot was taken at the Hive building in Singapore. And as you can see, I shot this in a landscape angle. And since I shot this in landscape, I was forced to cut out the roof and floor of the building. There's nothing wrong with this image, but if I was to shoot this same shot in a vertical format, this is what I would get. And as you can see in this shot, the image is completely different. We can now see the floor of the hive and we can also see the roof and some of the light coming into the building. Both images work great and neither are better than the other, but this is a great example of why it's important to capture both angles. Okay, moving on to the final composition trick and that is shaping light. So this one here is a little bit more difficult to pull off and we will need to rely on the lighting conditions of the day to make this work properly. But the basic concept of this composition is to use the light available to us to capture some unique shots. 
So for example, in this shot here. So for this photo, I came across an underpath where the bridges above had a slight gap between them, causing this hard cut of light to fall perfectly on the footpath below. So I waited for about five minutes for someone to walk through and I quickly snapped this shot. Now another example is this photo here. So I got my friend to stand in the middle of these two intersecting rooms and I adjusted the settings of my camera to expose correctly for the highlights, which caused my subject to be underexposed and to create this silhouette. And as you can see in the examples here, backlighting your subject is a great way to shape the light in your images and to create some unique silhouettes. So as we've talked about in previous videos, lighting is the most important aspect of photography. So always be cautious of the light and how it's moving and falling. All right, so that wraps up my six composition tricks I use on majority of my shoots. I hope you found some value from this video. And if you're interested in learning more stuff like this, I'm currently running a free photography training where I break down my top tips to capturing professional looking photos, plus the five key steps I took to making over six figures is a year as a full-time photographer. You can hit the link in the description below to register if interested. Also, I will be posting a bunch of new videos to this channel. So if you want to stay up to date with the new content coming, hit the like and subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.